As we sit here, Much, the Judicial Services Commission uh, has published a list uh, from which uh, five judges uh, are going to be appointed to the Constitutional Court. Um, what, what are we looking right. for in, in these judge, judges? What are we looking for in terms of character, um, right. those, those kind of traits? Right. In, in, in addition to, to, to the normal qualities that are expected of any judge mm. or of the High Court, Supreme Court, uh, we should be looking, I'll say five things, Trevor. Mm. One is courage. Mm -hmm. We need individuals who are going to have the moral fortitude to pass fair and balanced judgments without fear or favor. Mm -hmm. And secondly, we need individuals that are going to be independent-minded enough, you know, to remain resolute, you know, and not susceptible to any pressure from wherever that pressure may come. Mm -hmm. And thirdly, we need individuals that are incorruptible. Mm -hmm. There's been a serious scourge of corruption in this country. And so we need individuals who must be able to uphold the highest possible standards of integrity in all aspects of their lives, both on and off the bench. Mm. And, and it's not easy for, for a lot of people to, to be as incorruptible as they should be, given the pathetically low remuneration that judges and sadly so the executive needs to address the issue to do with uh, the consolidated revenue fund mm. which is uh, this primary source of uh, remuneration for judges and other senior uh, holders of office of these institutions that make up you know what a well-run country is all about then number four, we need individuals that are politically neutral. So we all have our political wishes, you know, I acknowledge that. But, uh, but once you get to that level, you, need, you cannot afford to have a member of the apex court, like the constitutional court, being tied with a certain brush mm. on account of him having been a member of parliament for a certain party or a minister uh, in an administration that was led by a certain president or whatever. So, and then the last, the last uh, uh, attribute, Trevor, has to do with uh, the temperament. Mm. And with temperament goes humility. You know, if you are a holder of an office in an apex court, you got to have the right temperament, you know, to be able to operate calmly under intense and immense pressure. Mm. And, uh, and also to be humble enough to realize that the decisions that you make affect the lives of the people that appear before you.